Hello, Joshua from Course Factor here. I just want to quickly give you a, a tutorial on MX Route um, and how to set up email accounts and where to find certain information. Uh, so the very first thing that you need to know is that there are actually going to be two different logins that you'll have once you sign up for the account. Uh, the first one is going to be your actual MX Route account. Uh, this is where you'll handle the services that you purchase, uh, your billing, um, and then also see important messages from MX route. And also if you need support in the future, this is where you'll request those support tickets. Um, and then the second login is going to be the control panel, which I'll get into uh, later. But first I want to go over the, uh, the account dashboard here and the most important thing that you'll need to know here to get started. Um, you should have received this email uh, when you sign up for this service, you should have received an email that will contain all of your login information to log into your control panel, which I have open in a tab up here, uh, which I'll jump over to in a minute. Um, but if you don't receive that email, if you accidentally delete it, or if you need to reference it again, uh, not a problem at all. Uh, what you'll do is jump into history here, you'll click on that, and then you'll jump over to emails at the tab here. And this is where you'll find the information. Now I'm not gonna click on that because there's a lot of, there's some sensitive information in here that I don't wanna share over the video, um, but that'll contain your uh, DNS records that'll, con or what to set your DNS, how to configure your, um, your devices, like if you have an iPhone or an Android, how to configure Outlook. Um, that'll contain all that information, but it also contains where you're going to log into your control panel and your username and password for that. So this is a very important email. Um, and you can always access it, like I said, by jumping into your dashboard by going to accounts.mxroute.com, you know, logging in, and then of course drop into the history tab and then going over to this email tab here. And again, that this is the email that you'll be looking for. It might be at the top, might be down toward the bottom, um, might be in the middle here somewhere, but that's the important email that you'll be looking for. Okay, so I went ahead and clicked on that email because I did uh, did a little magic on the HTML to remove my username and password so I could show you uh, what this looks like. Um, and the reason why this this is so important is this is, like I said before, this is where it's going to tell you, okay, this is what you do for your email client. Email clients are your Apple's, uh, Apple devices, Android devices, um, your Outlooks, your Mozilla Fire, you know, your Mozilla email. Except Apple email, etc. This is what you're going to be using um, when you set that up. So going through here, though, um, there are some in, there is some information that we are going to need if we control your domain name. So if we have your domain name, if it's registered through us, um, this is some of the information that we need. Um, this page on our website, which is under our support files, it's called MX Email Service. If you can't find it under support. Uh, hosting an email. If you can't find it there, just do a quick search for it. You know, search MX route, it'll pop up um, and you can get to this. Um, this is the important information that we need to have. So just follow the instructions found here on this page as far as, you know, this is the information to send us. Um, and then we'll also need um, your DKIM information, which I'll touch on here in a minute as well. So there's a couple different things that we'll need here. Um, but this is step-by-step -step instructions, pretty hard to, to mess this up, um, about the information that we'll need to, to be able to point your domain correctly so that way your MX route emails work. All right, so going back to this email, um, this is also, as I mentioned before, there's two different logins when you sign up for an MX route account. There's a, the login that we're in here right now, which is your account, and then there's also the control panel. This is where you'll be actually accessing the control panel to set up email addresses, remove email addresses, change passwords, etc. Set up email forwards, etc. Um, and this is where you'll log in. So, for instance, in this case, um, the URL is this. It might look different from you. I know they have a few different um, URLs that they use. Um, and then, of course, your your username and password are going to be here as well. So, I will jump over to that now. So jump over to that, and we are now into the control panel uh, for your email box, email boxes. Uh, as you can see here, nothing is set up yet. But um, when we want to set something up, 
we'll go to the email manager and we'll hit email accounts. You can see here, there's only one right now, but if we wanted to create an account, it's as simple as hitting create an account. I want to turn the username. So if we want Billy, at there, and then we can set the password you can click the little dice to automatically set that. And then of course the email quota, you can change that to say, okay, I want to limit this email box to only be able to support 500 megabytes. Or if you want it to just be max, you can set it to unlimited. Um, just be aware that whatever plan that you set up with uh, MX route. So if you set up, a, you know, set it up with a 10 gigabyte plan, 25 gigabyte plan, whatever plan that you decide to go with, with them, um, you're, you know, that's a, so that storage is across all of your email accounts. So if you set all of your email accounts to unlimited and one person abuses it and has eight gigs of email, that's only going to leave two gigs for the rest of the people. So it's a good idea to keep your email quotas on. Um, but if it's only for yourself, you only have one other teammate, um, you can leave that to max. There's some uh, suggestions there. Also, email forwards, you can set these up as well. Jump into that. Email forwards, you can create an email forward. Now you want to forward, maybe you have orders at Root for Health and you want to send it to Billy at. And it, this can be any email. Um, it does not have to be you know, whatever your domain name is here. It can be any email at all that you decide to, to go with um, for your forwards. Just keep in mind that uh, you don't want to abuse the service by forwarding because it, when you do an email forward, it forwards everything, including spam. So what might happen there is that you, if you're continually forwarding spam from, let's say, orders at, um, whatever email service that you're using on the other side might flag those as, uh, might flag that orders at as a spam account and block all emails from it. So just keep that in mind. And then you can also adjust spam settings. There's a bunch of different features here. You can read through the documentation, but the biggest thing that you need to know is how to set up those email accounts, which go here under email manager, email accounts, create an account. You set your username and password. And once that's done, you have your emails here. Now I'm going to set up a sample real quick. So we'll just set a sample, password to sample. So we'll create this. There's, there's the account it's created. And if you have any issues with this, you can click this little plus icon on the right hand side. You change your password, you can change the email username, um, et cetera. So you have some options there as well. So this is where we go to reset your passwords uh, for those emails. Also delete these by hitting the checkbox here and hitting delete, or you can suspend them as well. So if you have a, let's say you had a person leave, um, you know, an employee leave and you no longer need their email um, to be active, you can suspend it. That way you still have access to these email accounts uh, through, you know, the email account's not completely deleted. It's just suspended from sending and receiving anymore. But we'll delete this for right now. And we're good to go there. So that's how you go through and delete an account. So if you have any questions about this, though, um, here's the most important thing is that we no longer provide support for um, email. So if you have any questions about your MX route, this, this video here that we're doing is just to get you started, um, just to get you in the door and, and started here. You need support for this. You have to reach out, again, via your accounts.mxroute.com you know, when you log in there, you have to reach out to MX route for support. And you do that by, again, logging into accounts.mxroute.com, not your control panel, and then going to your support tickets here, and then creating a new support ticket. And this, the MX route team will respond to you there. Thank you and have a good one.